trainers, the creators of today, to protectors of tomorrow. Amongst a realm of uncertainty, these are the select that have been tried, tested, and true. Watch, then ask of yourself, do I train or still need to be trained? And this is what I do. As a personal trainer, learning is central to my training. I use my network to find great information. I talk to coaches, I talk to other trainers, professors, teachers, athletes, and other gym users to hear their perspectives on working out. I also look to academic or public domain material for answers and for information when there's questions I need answers to. But I always take care because research and the sources I check aren't always accurate, proven, or applicable in every particular client's situation. So with observation and reflection, I sift through the answers and I apply only the best recommendations to my clients. As a trainer, it's really important to me to know what my client needs. So one of the things that I find is important for a personal, for a personal trainer is that they know how to listen to a client's body. And sometimes that might be in their initial assessment. But things change and also clients don't always know how to be able to communicate properly their limitations and or listen to their bodies properly. So that my clients' needs inform the way I train. I create relationships with lots of feedback. That way I constantly know exactly what my clients need and I use that when I advise them. So we're going to do a lap pull down. A lap pull down is great for muscles in your back, great for your posture. And it's key that you work out muscles that you can't see in the mirror because those are sometimes the most important and most neglected. So let's get to work. Pull. Awesome. She brings the weight down. Her shoulder blades come down before her arms come down. She brings it down in nice controlled motion just to her eye level and then she lets it go back up but she controls it on the way up. Two more. Here's the last one. Good control. All you. Awesome. Wait. Cut. 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 Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. So trainers. Just because it is that you physically display to measure of your skill, does that mean that you could also verbally relay your knowledge? Let's see what it is you really know. Good afternoon, viewers. I'm Emilia. And welcome to another segment of Now You Know. There are many different reasons for stepping up your game in the gym, whether that be the fast approaching summer, sporting tournaments, special occasions, even friendly rivalries. Take your pick, we all go hard sometimes. 29 year old Samuel asks, my younger brother Joey is on a mission to try to impress this new girl and he's been working out like two times a day, six days a week. I think he's overdoing it. What should I tell him? Well Samuel, let's hear from our fitness correspondent Julia and see what he knows. Julia? One could certainly work out too much. Listen to your body. If you're drowsy, probably overtrained. If you're too tired, probably burnt too many calories, didn't rest enough. If you normally sleep for just 7 hours but you find out that you need 9 or 10 hours sleep after intense training and you're still tired, probably overtrained. Probably haven't drank enough water, probably haven't eaten well. You can avoid overtraining by 
increasing your training step by step. And the way you do this depends on how fit you are and on your history with the kind of training you're doing. Keep an eye on your eating and your sleeping, monitor that, and reflect on what you observe. And by listening to your body, you'll be able to avoid overtraining. Thanks, Julian. Remember, whatever informed decision that you make, life is all about balance. Too much here, too little there, and you'll always be tipping the scale. And now, you know. The bottom line is that working out enhances the quality of life you lead outside of the gym. Regardless as to what you do, fitness can enhance the quality of work you do, the way you interact with others, and the quality of your life overall. More energy, which is a result of effective exercise, allows you to be more accurate, more precise, and more confident on a day-to-day -day basis. You'll gain body awareness from working out, and body awareness allows you to manage better the way you eat and the way you sleep. It allows you to have a better relationship with the way your body works every day. And lastly and most importantly, you'll develop a story. A story about setting goals, challenging yourself to reach those goals, reaching the goals, and then challenging yourself further. And that story you take outside of the gym, you apply that to your every day, and you can enhance the quality of life you lead based on the skill set you exercise as you work out. That's the bottom line. I'm Julian. And I train. Wait, your session isn't over yet. Go to the view and vote section of our website to check out the rest of the videos of all the trainers for this month. Interested in winning some cool Trainer Be Trained merchandise? Be the 200th voter on our website and you can win some amazing prizes, such as this cool t-shirt, some personal training sessions, Oof or some nutritional prize packs to help me with my strength. Four more. Three more. Oh, hi. If you or someone that you know truly trains, contact us and let's see what you can do. Come on, two more. Oh. Two more. One more. So, tune in, vote, and see who truly trains. Bye.